All right, folks. Pliskin by 51 millimeter. And this is my video on my new knife. If you watched my previous one, you'll show that I previewed it. It's a USN Mark One K bar knife by K bar, of course. Let's take it out of the sheath and show you all here. I oiled it up. K bar Olin, New York. USN Mark One. Yep, it is a beautiful little knife. Very lightweight, very compact. I ordered this off of Amazon a few days ago for around, oh, I want to say 60, 66 bucks, 66 dollars and 39 cents. A hefty price to pay, but it was worth it. I was wanting another K bar, and I could not decide which one that I wanted. I was debating on whether getting another full length K bar knife or go with something else. So I got looking around on the internet and found this little beauty. The USN Mark One, USN United States Navy. Now I'm not familiar with the history on this knife yet. Anyway, I haven't really read up on it. I just read the stats and reviews from people, and they all said it was a nice knife, and that they really enjoyed it. And the wood hand grip and leather sheath really got to me. I mean, I like synthetic as much as the next guy, but wood and leather, leather and, well, wood look, but leather handle, leather sheath, that's a real good selling point for me. So, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get this little knife. And so far, I've just got it today, as I stated. It's been a handy little knife. I haven't really used it for much, if anything at all. But I imagine I will be soon. I'm going to make this my carry knife. Because in the state of Indiana, you're allowed to carry a knife. Now, don't quote me on this, but if I remember correctly, because I've looked at it, but it's been a while. You can carry a fixed blade knife as long as it isn't over 7 inches long. Now, don't quote me on that. That's from what I remember. You can carry it legally. So, this knife here is 5 one fourths, Made of carbon steel. 1095. I'll have to go recheck. This is just my first kind of a preview video. I don't really know all there is to know about this knife yet. I'm just showing it off. I read on the internet that people were saying this was rat tang where the knife itself only goes into the handle about right here uh, from what I'm seeing here on the back end mind you don't bother don't mind the shadow of the camera here but I'll have it like this here we go uh, that kind of looks like full tang, if I'm not mistaken. And it is indeed pinned in. Somebody on the Amazon was pissed for a retarded reason, but that the pin was not flush with the pommel, which isn't a big deal to me, but kind of a ridiculous reason to get uh, uppity. So, this is my new K bar, and so far I love it. I wore it today in my pocket, hooked to my belt, of course. And after a while, it's just like I just didn't even notice it was there. And it's razor sharp. It's as sharp as my uh, other one came, 
when I first got it. Very nice, very sharp, very lightweight. It is a very lightweight knife. It it feels almost like paper compared to the USMC fighter, which I'll bring that over here for some comparison. Let's see, let's bring him over. It's my USMC naturally, and there's just a very big difference in length, overall length. Let me back it up here a little bit so I can get a better comparison. Overall length, weight, I mean, general feel. It's all different, but it all feels the same. I mean, it feels, it just, this feels like a, well, obviously, but a smaller version of this. And that uh, makes me real happy because I can carry this dude places and have it on me a little bit better. Uh, unnoticeably than I can this one yep very nice very nice so I'm going to continue using this one use it as my carry knife my storm chaser 3 is kind of biting the dust and I figured I'd go with something a little bit more practical uh, fixed blade Razor sharp, and I figured, why not a K-bar? In fact, I'd had the same discussion with Mayor Fugly Cool, talking about uh, knives. I was debating on getting a new one, and he said, why don't you get a smaller one that's shorter and easier to handle for uh, carry? And at first, I kind of didn't really think about that I was wanting to get something else like this I was honestly almost about ready to get another one of these another big uh, full-length k-bar knife uh, same I don't think it would have been the same model I was looking more at the synthetic and I might end up with that one again uh, or well not again but I might end up with that one eventually the same as this but synthetic maybe charaded too but uh, then it dawned on me that I could carry this little dude on me. Like, you know, it's like I could replace my uh, Storm Chaser 3. Because that's really how it started. I was looking for another folder. Let me go ahead and get my Storm Chaser 3 out. For comparison's sake. I was looking for another folder. This one, Storm Chaser 3. By United, well, Frost Cutlery. As it says there. Uh, it's a very nice knife. Very sharp. I've had it for two years. It's done me good. A workhorse of a utility knife. But. It's slowly getting dull. And. The edge. Up here. in the On that bend. Is starting to fold. From where I've used it so much. Cutting stuff. And it's made of stainless steel. And it's made. In China as well as you can see there nothing wrong with that plenty of good knives are made in China a lot of them I own are made in China and they're good but it's this dude's days in my back pocket are kind of numbered so I was looking for another folder and then I figured why not just get a small fixed blade knife and I figured why not get a K bar because I've already had a good experience with my other K bar knife. This one hasn't let me down yet. So I figured, hell, why not just get a small K bar? So that has been my preview of the K bar USN Mark I knife. It's a nice little knife. I love the feel of it. It's lightweight. That won't lend itself in chopping, but that might lend itself in other other areas. I intend to make this a uh, permanent carry knife and a permanent uh, utility knife for small work, not for uh, stuff I would use this one for. But uh, the two will 
from my experience having knives on me in the field and doing stuff like cutting wood, clearing brushes, I'm assuming that these two will end up working in tandem at some point or another. And they're both K-bar knives, so. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to be a massive fanboy for K-bar. I just really like them. I, I am aware that there are other other knives out there that are just like K-Bar, good in quality, but K-Bar is kind of my brand. So, these two will end up working in tandem as I go along in my outdoor adventures, wherever they may take me. Mostly hunting trips and hanging out with friends, clearing brush, scouting, t stuff like that. So, I'm happy that this came in. I'm a happy man tonight. And I'm glad I am able to do this video for all of you. Because I know some of you, a lot of you are knife guys as well. Oops, I bumped the camera again, sorry. So, this may be interesting to you as it is interesting to me. Anyway, this has been Pliskin. I'll see you all in the next video.